Hey you guys, it's Jobber here. I'm going to be doing a massive opening of an old school Retro Pack 2 sealed box. Alright, I've never opened one of these ever. I've opened a bunch of the random packs, like loose packs I bought on eBay, but never a box like this. And this is going to be for uh, my, th we've done a thousand videos. I actually just got a message from my, one of my friends on Facebook saying, hey, you're going to do something special for your thousand video uh, opening. I'm like, what? Like, yeah, you've done, a, you've done a thousand videos on YouTube. I was like, oh my gosh. So I needed to do something spectacular. So I got this. I'm super excited about cracking this open for you guys. It's really awesome. We're doing this on December. So to go along with our little Christmas thing. I also want to bring to you our, my, your attention, our attention, that uh, with YouTube, the notifications that you get from people that you subscribe to, they're like not working. Like, even on mine, like, I'm subscribed to some of my favorite channels. And when I go on it, like the feed, there's, uh, there was one channel on top and all the other ones down below, there was nothing. I wasn't even subscribed to them. I don't even know what they are. Random, ra completely random videos, things I've never clicked on, never watched in my life. Things that YouTube's trying to like hype up. I don't really know, but it's not those channels that I'm subscribed to, you know, like uh, channels that I watch and other YouTubers as well. None of them. I scrolled all the way down, not a single one. I have no idea why, but. This thing I pointed out to Simple Unlucky, and I, I think he's been talking about it in his videos, and I want to talk about it in my videos as well. Uh, so when you subscribe, a little subscribe button on the side there, right next to it, there's this little gold bell, all right? And I found this this found this out from uh, a channel, Cybernet linked it, it's uh, H3H3, I think, and he brought it to everyone's attention as well. So what you do is you click on that bell, and then there's a little check mark, and you just check it, and it'll show you all notifications for that person, that YouTuber that you're watching. So you, if you, you really need to do that. If you could really, uh, if you go, basically it's like double subscribing to someone. So if you subscribe to me, please, <laughs> please bell me as well. So you can click on that bell and then do that. You'll be able to get all the notifications whenever I post a video. That really, really help. I mean, I don't know if you've noticed, but a lot of channels, uh, Cybernights even reached out to me, was messaging me, telling me how his view count has just been crashing and he thought it was him. It's not. Uh, uh, PewDiePie is the biggest guy on here, 50 million subscribers. He's made multiple videos about it. At first, he was apologizing because he thought it was his mistake and then it got brought to his attention that it was not. He's not doing anything different. It's just his viewer count is plummeting because his subscribers aren't seeing when he posts a video, you know, which is helpful, you know, when you want to watch someone's video and you click on your YouTube channel, you're like, oh, the newest video, it's right there. But it's not, if it's not there, you're going to literally have to manually click on the person's YouTube channel and go see if they posted it. And most people don't do that. I don't do it. Most people don't. So, yeah. So, uh, yeah, please bell me. That would be really, really awesome. Uh, so when you subscribe, just uh, click that bell right there. Get all the notifications. And not only me, do it to all the, your favorite YouTubers, YouTubers, anyone you watch. Yeah, and then you'll be able to get the newest feeds because you're probably missing videos that you'd want to watch. And you don't even know. So, yeah, I found this out. I was uh, checking out a channel like, man, they haven't posted a video in like a month. It wasn't so. They've been posting videos like every single day. So I was just there like, wow, I need to play catch up, watch all these videos. And I had no idea. So, yeah, no, I'm doing that. I'm belling everybody that I watch now. So, yeah, um, <laughs> sorry for that long part of this. I don't even know how long we're in. Almost four minutes into the me just explaining that. Well, we're going to crack into this amazing Retro Pack 2 box. Hope you guys uh, enjoy this. And please subscribe and bell me. And uh, as you know, I always give away a free booster pack. I'll announce the winner in the comments of the next video. Just post a comment down below. Let me know your thoughts about that as well. It would be very, very helpful. Thank you. <laughs> I'm sorry for taking away from uh, the opening, but I just wanted to bring up that that concern. I had to call up some fun lucky, and I was talking to him about it. So I know he's been voicing the concern as well to his subscribers, which I know are a lot of you subscribers as well. So we this is why me and Simple and Lucky work together. <laughs> Alrighty, well, I have never opened up one of these boxes. I've never opened up one of these little mini boxes, ever. So, I am really excited to see what they look like. Well, what do they, do they have a little bit of tape on the sides? Can't really tell. Yeah, it looks like there is. Okay. I will give it a little cut. A little surgery here to get in there nice like. Okay. Alright, so, I think that's it. 
And we get our... Cool, so each one of these will have a gores, and that's a lot of gores. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven... Well, eight of these secret rare gores is in this video, no matter what. That's awesome. Right on. Wow, there's a lot of booster packs here. This is going to be an incredibly long video. I am excited about this. So we have a uh, we have three. So a uh, three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen, eighteen, twenty-one, twenty-four. So twenty-four booster packs of this. Wow. So it's like an entire uh, full-blown booster box. And these are some really, really old-school cards. So I hope that we end up pulling a secret, other than the course that we have, that we got, which are beautiful. Gorge is probably one of the most exciting cards to ever come out. When I was so excited about it, I was really excited about when they released a uh, trap monsters. <laughs> that was really cool too. Yeah, uh, Book of Tayu, uh, Bottomless Trap Hole. Oh wow, Masquer Strict. I forgot there's so many good cards in here. Uh, Freed the General here, and uh, got Call of the Haunted, Emergency Provisions. Mad Sword Beast, Kaiku the Ghost Destroyer. Very cool. Some really really good commons in here. I'll put that rare right there. Yeah, the Masquer is strict. I know. I know that uh, common was really up there in price when the, the Monarch deck was running all over the place. Okay. This is that the four star Ladybug of Doom? Uh, Spear Dragon. Uh, appropriate. And uh, Chain Destructions are rare. Thousand Eyes Idol, very cool. Gravekeeper's Silent and uh, Gemini Elf. Awesome. And we have our third pack here. Insect Imitation. Bazoo the Soul Eater. Tornado Wall. Vader the Magnet Warrior, very cool. And we have a uh, Spirit Message A. Gravekeeper Spy, Noble and a Cross Out, and Yada Garusa, very cool. I ran the Yada deck, that's uh, how I got the original, I don't know what they're even called. It's like a giant trophy, and it has like a plastic case, Millennium Puzzle in it, and it says, uh, my name is Jesse Barber, a Jesse Barber Duelist King Champion, something like that. It's right there in the front. Really, really cool, actually. They were awesome. I don't know why they stopped doing that for locals, but that was that was awesome. So... How you got it is, I believe, I can be corrected if I'm wrong, but how my locals did it is I had to be basically the store leader in points. There was like a point system by, I live back at that point, it was upper deck. And after eight months goes by, if you're still the store leader, the, you basically, basically you'll get that trophy. They'll mail it, they'll mail it to you. And they mailed me a booster box of the current set. Which back then was Invasion of Chaos. I pulled a Chaos Emperor Dragon out of that box. I remember that. That was super exciting. My gosh. Yeah, just a giant box. It was uh, full of foam chips and everything with your trophy and a current booster box. I mean, how cool, right? It's too bad they uh, they stopped giving those out because they were that was really awesome. Uh, we got a Gravity Bind there. Another appropriate. Oh, cool. And Don Zalug. If you ever haven't seen Don's Luke in Japan, you should. And instead of having daggers, he has two guns. He's kind of like a pirate. <laughs> That's actually really cool. And check that out. Yeah, another Kaiku the Ghost Destroyer. The Ritual. Oh, cool. And a Tretzel Tribute. Very nice. To our next pack here. I really hope that out of all these packs, we end up pulling a Seeker. I don't even care what the Seeker is. That would just be really amazing. Another Masquerade Strict, very awesome. And uh, Gear Freed, the Iron Knight. Uh, Book of Moon and uh, Guardian Sphinx, very awesome. Tornado Wall. Uh, Dust Tornado. Another one of those four star. And then our rare is the Nightmare Wheel. Very cool. I think we've pulled all those already. Move over to our next one. Get that little bit of tape there. Okay. Got our third gores to our collection here. 
one of my favorite cards in the game. I don't really get much play right now, but it comes and goes. <laughs> it's like all cards, popular and they're not. All right, so three more packs. Book of Eclipse. Insect Imitation, another Master Restrict, and a Kaiser Seahorse Rare. Very cool. And we have the Spirit Message A, Mad Sword Beast, a Shore Priest, and a Magic Drain. Cool. Shore Priest can attack all your opponent's monsters. They're using that a lot. Um, in Go format a little bit. Um, so basically, they would be able to attack all their scapegoats on their side of the field, and sometimes you... I don't think you have to attack all of them. I think you can. Whatever. It's a spirit type monster, so return back to your hand so they build a creature swap too. So that was always very, very handy. So you just got a creature swap, take their monster, then you can just end your turn, and uh, you get to keep their monster for free. <laughs> and they didn't get anything, so that was really cool. Oh my gosh, yes! Harpies, pet dragon, secret rare. Oh, nice! Wow! Oh, wow, that is beautiful. I can't believe we pulled a secret. That is so amazing. Oh, my gosh. How cool. It's beautiful. Woo. Right on. Put that right over there. Wow, that is amazing. So our commons, how sweet. Let's get that to what we have here. I know we have some. I know we have sleeves. We have all kinds of sleeves, actually. <laughs> We're going to sleeve that up right now. Whoosh. Whoosh. Oh, that is awesome. Super worthy of that. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that is absolutely incredible. Wow. That is so cool. It's nice when these magical things like that happen and you're actually recording it. Uh, I have opened so many cool things in the past and uh was never been recorded i was like gosh i wish i had a youtube channel <laughs> able to record it oh nice i got a we got a destiny board here super air very cool right on cool. we'll put that right up there with our seeker air sweet well back to back foil that one had two hollows in it well i mean a seeker harpy's pet dragon wow you don't see those very often retro pack two Retro Pack 2 Seeker or anything, <laughs> you just don't see very often. I know some Retro Pack Seekers are worth like a fortune. Crazy. Either way, if they're worth a fortune or not, extremely rare. It's kind of like a TP1 Mechanical Chaser. They don't really have a tremendous amount of value, but the TP1 Ultra Mechanical Chaser, they are incredibly rare. Oh my gosh, and they are super amazing. I love Mechanical Chaser, but man, it is hard to get your hands on an ultra rare one. Gosh. Oh, I don't know. I don't get it. Some cards are worth a fortune and some cards aren't, but it's like, why isn't Mechanical Chaser worth a lot more? I mean, it's almost impossible to get. The card is ancient. <laughs> and to find one in like perfect condition, you know, almost impossible. Uh, we got a premature burial here. Wow, <laughs> got a secret, a super and an ultra rare. Wow, Dark Ruler of Hades. <laughs> that is awesome. Actually, might as well just sleeve up these foils while we're at it. Just pull some, put some sleeves here to the side. Super worth it with these these foils like this. Oh my gosh. We have our uh, our secret, our ultra, and while we're at it, we'll just sleeve up. Our super right here, the Destiny board. I'm trying, trying to put together the whole uh, final, or the Destiny board. Final, it's final. <laughs> yeah, put the whole Destiny board set together. It'll be really cool when we do this. All right. Okay. Well, let's see what we got. Another set. Another Gravekeeper spy. Call the Haunted. We got our ritual there. Mad Sword Beast. And here we are. Three hollows so far. Amulet at pulling a seeker rare. That is awesome. We don't, we don't have any set ratios on these as far as I know. Another Don's Alu, cool. 
And we pulled, uh, I think that's our first one actually. The Dark Room of Nightmare and a Reckless Greed. I think that's a new one too. And we got another Trench Tribute and a Magic Drain. Very cool. And for our third pack here. Dark Ruler of Hot is. Change it for the TCG. And then kind of Japan, a Dark Ruler of Hades, obviously. And uh, if you see, let's see here in the, what is he holding? Looks like it's like a cup of water. And I mean, people are saying in the in the glass, it was like a, a cup of blood. And it, you can look at it in Japan. His horns are completely different too. They're like really swirled out and everything and uh, pronounced and uh, his, and his glass it's red in there so they're, they're saying that it was blood i mean it could could just been wine but they they didn't want to advertise that one moving over to the tcg um magical hats there gilsaurus very cool and all right for our other half of this yeah thank you guys so much for uh you know supporting the channel and being along for a thousand videos oh my gosh that is really amazing. It's been a long, long road. And I really hope that YouTube straightens up their stuff because, you know, killing off killing off channels, some channels that are just massive, they're getting millions of views on their videos and now getting, instead of getting three or four million views, they're getting next to nothing. I mean, to the point where some of these big channels, they're just quitting, they're deleting their channels. And that's really sad, so. Yep, to avoid that, all you gotta do, bell them. <laughs> That's it, that was the issue. So, oh nice, Buster Blader, super rare, very cool. I'm just gonna slip up all the foils that we get here. I guess we're kinda like simply unlucky in it, but the reason why I'm doing it on here is uh, these are extremely, extremely rare. Very, very hard to come across. And uh, I'm gonna try to keep those things absolutely pristine. I'll probably just end up keeping them because they're just awesome. It's like that one really amazing opening they did in the special edition just pulled Allure of Darkness, Ultimate Rare, and Ghost Rare, Honest. Oh my gosh. I kept those cards. I'm gonna go get, I'm actually gonna get them framed. I said the video's gonna get them framed. I am. <laughs> I'm gonna get them framed. I'm gonna keep them forever. So that's the plan. Wow! Back to back Super and Buster Bladers. Let's go. Sleeve this sucker up too. All right. Wow, we've gotten a lot of foils out of here. This is really, really um, turning out to be an epic thousandth video. Cool. My cheeks are getting kind of sore from smiling so much. <laughs> Massage them. A spear dragon there. Reckless Greed, and oh my gosh, three foils in a row, three super, uh, what is it, Hino Kago's, like, sushi. <laughs> the guy is a spirit monster, and when you get dealing any damage to your opponent, um, they discard their entire hand before they draw. It's weird, it's not instant, it's like, uh, you get to pass, they get to keep their hand, and then on their turn, they discard their entire hand before they draw, so it's like, really, it's really good. <laughs> yeah, but it is, it does, it's a double tribute, and it has to go back to your hand. So that is the downfall. It was pretty good in like old school monarchs is really easy to put, you know, build double tribute for something then just poke over their monster. So yeah, wow, six foils so far. Gosh, this has turned out to be one of the best openings we've ever done on the channel. And uh, it being such a big celebration, I am really, really happy. And I've had it, uh, I had this box saved up here for a while. Got it a, got it a while ago. I got it off eBay. One of the big eBay sellers on there had it. And I was, you know, I have never opened one of these. And that was like the perfect time as soon as I got that message from uh, one of the, one of my subscribers there. Hey, you're about to do a thousand videos. Are you going to do a, <laughs> are you going to do something epic? I'm like, what? Yeah, you've done a thousand videos. Oh, <laughs> it's time. And another bottomless trap hole, very nice. Spear Dragon. Card of safe return, very cool card. Oh, nice, and a rare Royal Decree. Get this plastic out of the way. Awesome, so our first one of those. And we have, we've pulled all those already. Uh, 
Man, six hollows. Oh my gosh, that is amazing. Plus you get a gorge in every single one of these, which is also <laughs> equally amazing. A spirit message in. And uh, we got appropriate there. Goblin attack force. An obnoxious Celted Guardian. Cool. And Kaiku the Ghost Destroyer. Yeah, Grape Rivers of Sand. We pulled that. We pulled. We have pulled all those. I think we pulled all the commons so far of this set. I'm not sure. I know there's quite a few cards. I know there's a lot of uh, different hollows you can get. And they're extremely, extremely, extremely hard to get. Yeah, Reckless Greed. Card of Safe Return. Oh, nice. And a Morphine Jar. Very awesome. Right on. It is banned, but one of these days it will come back. A Spirit's Message A and another Yadagarusa. Very cool. I have my original Yadagarusa that I uh, won the tournament with. I kept that in my trophy, the trophy box. It's pretty cool. Another gorge there. That gorge number seven, I believe. <laughs> I'll put three of these, and all three of them had a hollow in it. My gosh, that is incredible. A duster now, another tornado wall. I think I like to go play together. Got an Air Knight Parish Shaft, another card that was all over the GOAT format. The only damage to your opponent has piercing as well. Uh, you know, so it's a monster's in defense position. This thing has 1900 attack, so if I say I attack over that Morphin Charts in defense, it has 600, so that'll be a 1300 damage to them. Uh, you get to draw one card, so it's really cool. Very, very good card. It was an ultra rare originally. And people played it quite a bit. Insect imitation. Got a dark spirit there. And a Yamada Dragon. This one, I believe, is what makes you so you draw to you have five cards. Yep, draw into your hand has five cards. Kind of like that Hinokago. It, it takes your opponent's hand. Well, this one right here, if you deal any damage, you get to draw into your, you have five cards in your hand. So it's really cool. It's also a really, really good uh, card. It takes, I mean, it takes two tributes, so that's a little difficult. But when I was playing Monarchs, like the old school monarchs, of course. Way back, I was <laughs> I was running the Hinokago and tr would try out Yamada Dragon stuff like that just for fun. Catch <laughs> catch my friends off guard. I'm like what? What does it do? <laughs> I draw to have five cards. No way. <laughs> and we got a freed general there. A barrel behind the door. Another uh, Sora priest, guardian sphinx, and a magic drain. Very cool. All right, so we're at our what is it, eighth and final little mini box here and we ended up hitting our goal pulling one seeker air and it was harpy's pet dragon that was really really epic gosh that is so cool that we ended up pulling one all right for our last three booster packs Gravity Binds. Oh, Gravekeeper's Chief. I don't think we pulled that common. <laughs> Maybe we did. Maybe I'm just forgetting. I know we got Book of Tayu before. And, uh, oh, nice. Met, uh, Gem Defender is a super rare. Very cool. I actually didn't remember that was a, that was a foil. We've already on At this point, I'm committed. I have to sleeve every hollow that we pull. And we pulled a lot. Seven hollows. My gosh. It's almost a, almost averaging a hollow per. And plus, because you get a Gorse in every single one. So that's really, really awesome. My gosh. Let's go see what uh, commons we got in here. We got uh, it was a Trunch Tribute, another Mad Sword Beast, Helosaurus, and a Magic Drain. Very cool. All right, so pack number two here. Jam Defender Super Rare. How awesome! Reckless Greed, Printer Burial, and another foil. Wow, limited removal Super Rare. So this one's really cool. Right here, when you activate it, it's a quick play. It increases, it doubles the attack of all your machine type monsters, and on the end phase, they all get destroyed. But so the, the point is, you're trying to like end them in that one turn. There was a, they were really using it a lot, and uh, 
Was it the Chimera Attack OTK? I don't think it's the original attack. Double the attack of old face up. I think this worked with the Chimera Attack. It was one of those OTK decks. I think it was the Chimera Attack one. Correct me if I'm wrong. They put it on the board. It was really easy for them to make it 4,000 attack. And then they would just say increase it to double in it. So increase it to 8,000 and just end the game in one go. Old school. Very, very cool card. That is awesome. Wow. <laughs> Eight hollows. I never would have dreamed this, this opening was going to turn out to be this epic. We got an Ultra, a Secret, and there's just a ton of Super Rares, plus all of the Gorges that we got. And there's some really, really incredible commons in here. That one, we had three foils in it. This one here has already had two. Let's make that three. Boom! That is awesome! Wow! The Mask Beast Ritual. And then we got a Gilsaurus, Creature Swap, Gemini Elf, and Emergency Provisions. Wow, that is incredible. <laughs> oh my gosh, I cannot believe how lucky and epic this opening was. Definitely going to make the top five most epic openings we've ever done on the channel. By far. Oh my gosh. Alright, well, let's do, uh, let's do a little recap here of all of our beautiful rares here. That's what's so nice about this set. Like, even the rares are just really, really cool. And then they're, they're a little bit lighter colored and stuff. I don't know, they just look really nice. And then, um, we have... It should be eight Gorses. It's an army of Gores. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That is, that is awesome. All right. Lay those all down. And then for our beautiful Hall of Hollows. And I cannot believe how lucky we got on these Hollows. Got the Mass Beast, Super Rare, Limit Removal. Jam Defender Super Rare, the Hinokago Buster Blader, another Buster Blader, Destiny Board, Dark Ruler of Hades Ultra Rare, and our last but not least, Secret Rare Harpy's Pet Dragon. Oh my gosh, that is so awesome. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and please remember to subscribe and bell me and everyone else that you love, all of the other YouTubers and Yugi tubers that you love watching on YouTube. Please do that. Support all of us. Thank you guys so much for watching, and on that, Jobber here is signing out.